Cup. This year, it's double trouble for their opponents. Chad Cool with that story. It's another fine season in Fergus Falls. The Otters are 12 and 3 and poised for a run at the postseason. On the gym wall here is a list of the names responsible for those wins, but perhaps none more important than a name that's become synonymous to Otter basketball. Ryan and Jason Retzlaff are brothers and the heart of this team. And the fact that they're brothers and that they've uh, grown up on the um, same court outside the garage together, I think, helps a little bit too. They understand each other well, they play together well, and they certainly complement each other. We work together pretty well. I mean, we have fun when we're out there, so I guess that's you know all that matters. Mm -hmm. We seem to know what we're going to do too and stuff like that. And this isn't just a nice brothers get to play together now and then story. They are the Otters' top two scorers, averaging a combined 42 plus points per game. He's a really mature player for his age. I'm really proud of him. He's doing a great job as our point guard. He's really taking on some responsibilities that a sophomore usually wouldn't have to take on. This year is our first full full ride and it's been just been a great experience and we play a lot of one-on-ones when we were really young and stuff outside and in miniature hoops and but uh it's it's been great so far this year this is ryan's fourth year of varsity basketball and he finally gets a chance to share some of it with his brother but most likely their careers together will end when this season does giving more inspiration to jason and the rest of the team knowing that it's going to be the end of his time is really it's it's a good factor in trying to get farther too but the just it's a dream it would be a dream to go to state and that's really what we're looking to do in fergus falls chad cool wday new center six sports and the world of auto racing is again